Vet Talks is pleased to bring you this program on neurological examination and lesion localization. The neurological examination consists of several components. The goals of the neurological examination is to determine if neurological disease is present as opposed to musculoskeletal disease. The neurological exam provides us information to localize the lesion, determine the severity of the lesion, and to help provide a prognosis with or without treatment. The neurological examination also helps us guide diagnostic planning. The components of the neurological examination includes observation, postural reactions, cranial nerve reflexes, spinal reflexes, palpation, and sensation. There are three components to observation, mental status, gait, and posture. Gait will be the focus of this presentation. Normal gait results from the coordination of motor and sensory information that, an animal, that allows an animal to walk or run. Quadrupeds are largely brainstem walkers, which means that the motor systems required for normal gait are largely confined to the brainstem. The lower motor neurons located in the spinal cord peripheral nerves and motor end plate are also necessary components for gait. Gait also involves the incorporation of sensory systems such as proprioception and vision, balance from the vestibular system, and overall coordination through the cerebellum. Let's now turn our attention to abnormal gaits and their value in lesion localization. The first gait we're going to describe are gaits that are associated with disorders affecting the forebrain. Recall that the forebrain con is composed of the cerebral cortex and the diencephalon, which is also the thalamus and the hypothalamus. Characteristic forebrain gaits include minimal paresis or paralysis. Animals that tend to walk in wide circles, usually towards the side of the lesion. They have no head tilt. Animals may have aimless walking and various aversion syndromes may also be seen. The following is a video of a 